Statement? Uh, you know, great to win on Friday night. And, uh, you know, that's what I told the guys, you know, think about how we felt a week ago at this time to, you know, to come back and kind of turn that a little bit. So it felt good. And, uh, you know, I was proud of the guys, put a big inning together, obviously, and uh, that was huge. And then to get, uh, you know, a Friday night win with one pitcher, you know, that, that sets you up well. So hopefully we'll capitalize on that. Can you talk about just Billy coming back from, you know, tough outing last week and basically a complete game tonight, but what his presence on the mound was. No, I mean, you know, you just, you're going to get popped in the mouth, and, and, and he did last week. And, uh, you know, like I told him last week, you know, that's not who we are. And, you know, you're not going to be, you know, you don't have an identity of that point. So you just got to go out there and keep competing. And I thought he did that, and he was ready to go. And I thought thought he did great. And, uh, you know, he'd probably be a little frustrated with a couple walks, leadoff walks, and end up scoring. But uh, other than that, I thought he kept him off balance and, and really did what he should have do once he got that run support. Coach, I think Nice game, 10 plus hits. Talk about what's coming together offensively for you guys. Yeah, I just think they're, you know, mature. You know, the, the you get to this point of the season, there's, you can't say they're totally young anymore. You know, they've got some experience now, and I think we're seeing some of that. And, and you know, usually the trend is as the, the weather warms up and, and things of that nature, you know, the bats get going a little bit more. So uh, very proud of what we've been doing offensively. And if we can match that on the mound, then, uh, you know, we'll be a handful. Ready to name a starter for tomorrow yet? Or? Not yet. Uh, we're going to talk about it here when we get upstairs. And, uh, you know, it was by design. You know, I wanted to hopefully get a Friday night win, know who you have, did, you didn't use, and uh, decide what the best route is. So we got some great options, and I look forward to whoever it is to uh, go out there and give us a chance to win tomorrow. Kind of rewind it back to a little bit ago. When you first recruited Billy, how did you ever him? How did you ever picture him fitting into a Friday roll if, if you ever did see that happening? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, you know, when we recruited him, it was more about, you know, uh, getting a guy that knows how to pitch and, and stuff. And then they kind of settled that on their own, you know, about where they end up and being a starter or whatnot. So, uh, the, you know, Billy can pitch. You know, we've, we've seen it you now two years. And uh, he's, he's pitching some big moments, and, uh, and every one of them is big, you know, to those guys. So uh, I'm not surprised. I'm proud of him. You know, we don't take it for granted because baseball is a hard game. And uh, just like last weekend, you know, uh, it didn't go his way, but he bounced back on his next start, and, uh, and it went great. So uh, very happy for him. What's it like watching that ten-run inning unfold? I know it was a lot of self-inflicted wounds, also by ULM. Do you, do you get tired of it? Do you, do you maybe want to see it keep going? I mean, just how do you see it from from your end? I mean, I want to see him score as many runs as they can. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest with you. So it's uh, that's baseball. You know, I think hit by pitch, hit by pitch, sack bunt that they don't get to they try to get the lead run, and they don't. Then it. Momentum, you know, uh, I think we saw that last weekend, you know, momentum's hard to stop and uh, and stuff. So when you can capture some momentum, it, it can be very powerful. And I think that's kind of what we saw there. And, uh, you know, you got to take advantage of it, too. If they give you something, you got to capitalize on it. And that inning we did. Back to Billy, two hit. Um, talk about what was going, you know, working for him now. You had the fastball from the zones, changes usually always good. Well, his, his change-up's a weapon, and everybody knows that. When they're doing a scout report on him, they know that's a, a pitch, whether it's a righty or a left-handed hitter, they, they've got to honor it. And, uh, so it creates a little bit of doubt, you know, to be totally sold out to a fastball. So he's able to, you know, drop that change up in there and then beat him on some fastballs, you know, late or up in the zone and stuff like that. But it's, it's really called the plus and minus game with him, you know, just totally trying to keep him off balance in the box and not let him get comfortable. And he does that really well. And then he dumps in some spin and sliders and stuff. And, just creates a lot of doubt. Can you talk about Davis Gillespie and his kind of presence at the plate? Um, obviously, home run tonight, but he's been a consistent tool in that four or five hole. Yeah, I mean, y'all see him. He's a, he's a big, strong monster. I mean, he, he's got a lot of a lot of pop in there, and when he connects, you know, there's something behind it. So, uh, you know, I think he's just he, he's growing. He's one of those guys that. Uh, this is his first year of doing it at this level. So every at bat, every success or failure, you know, he's, he's taking something from it. So I think, you know, I think he feels good about it, you know, and he's not perfect and, uh, and we, we don't expect him to be, but he goes up there and he's always a threat. And that's that's a great commodity to have. Thank you. It was a big night for the offense. Um, you know, what do you think kind of caused all the uh, contagious hitting? I think it all started when Tucker laid down that bunt and he threw it away. That kind of led to more things happening and they kind of got sped up and, yeah, we capitalized off that. How about for you today? Uh, anything different for you? Just keeping it the same, you know, staying comfortable. Um, you know, threw out a lefty there, and I thought I felt pretty comfortable against him. And then just kept it going. What's it like being in the dugout for a half hour like that? Does it get tiring? Do you get bored? Not really. It's just fun to watch, you know. You sit back and, you know, watch our guys work.
things. Can you talk about your growth as a hitter from your first A-B to your present day? I mean, what's more comfortable to you? I guess starting out, maybe the, you know, the atmosphere got a little bit of me, and then, you know, as you go on, you get a little bit more comfortable with it, and then you start to feed off of it. So that's been good for me. Can you uh, walk us through your home run there in the first game? Yeah, I got down to two strikes. You know, we knew that coming in, he was throwing up in the zone with two strikes, and he threw a fastball up in the zone. I got it. You know, I feel like, especially this season, you've made the most of your opportunities. You're obviously going to have more with Dalton being out. You never want to see a guy get out. But how do you want to keep expanding on your on choose at, you know, on the play, at the field? Yeah, um, just keep going, honestly. You just got to keep working, keep trusting, you know, the work we put in, and then good things will happen. A week ago, you guys were on the receiving end of two of these mm -hmm. run rules, and right. now three wins in a row. I mean, was, just, was the key to kind of being able to shake that off? And yeah, I think we fed off of that. You know, we getting beat down two games like that. You know, we, we want to respond, and that's what we've done. You know, we just got to keep it going. You know, I was actually sitting next to your aunt and uncle. I don't uh -huh. know if you heard them out there. Did you? I did. I saw them. I didn't hear them. Yeah, they're here for three games. Does that give you a boost, sir? Maybe, yeah. You know, feels good. <laughs> Right, man. Uh, first and foremost, obviously last weekend you guys are, you know, getting run rule too, and now you get to do it back on your home turf. What's it feel like for you guys after a big run like this? Uh, it feels incredible. Uh, I think last week it was, it's kind of, kind of ticked us off a little bit, and it made everybody have a, like a bad feeling and want to come out and do it. And I think we, we had to walk it off the last two times, but uh, I think today we just came out ready to swing, and we knew what we were capable of. And I think, I think this is what this team can really do. What's it like being in the dugout for an inning that last? Tiring or? Uh, maybe today just because it was so hot, but uh, there was a lot of energy all day. Uh, the, just our dugout in general, like people that weren't playing today, all the pitchers that didn't throw, I mean, they brought incredible energy, and I think that kind of helps us at the plate. You know, obviously with uh, Dalton going down, it kind of opens up a lot of possibilities because you guys have so many guys that are versatile. You know, you can see more opportunities as well. How do you want to expand on, on your chance at the plate and the field, stuff like that? Uh. I don't know. I mean, I guess that one's for the coaches. Like, they like moving people around, and we're all working at different positions, just trying to figure stuff out. And I'm guessing they like what they did tonight, because that was on their decision to put people where they're at. And it stinks. Dmax down. He's a big, big tool for us. But I'm hoping he gets to come back next week. You walk us through kind of your play presence tonight. Three RBIs, two hits. Oh uh, yeah, I've I've been passive recently, and it's been kind of killing me at the plate. So tonight I was trying to be super aggressive and. Not really chasing the balls like I did that last of bad, but just trying to make sure to box everything up, make him come to me, and just get my swing off. Off that day, can you just kind of talk about the adjustment, you know, from JC level to D1 level, you know, from your first AB this year to present? Seems like you're kind of getting it, getting good things going. Uh, yeah, I didn't think it was, like, too crazy in the fall, and then when that first game came around, they were throwing, they could land any pitch for a strike, and I was like, wow, it's, it's a lot different, because I was telling people it's not too much different right now, but... Now that it's, the season's kind of kicked off and all, almost halfway over, or halfway over, it's it's a lot different and a lot harder here. Yeah, I think you kind of highlight some of those that asked too. The season's halfway done. Obviously, uh, you, know, you guys want to kind of push this together and kind of complete yourselves. How do you feel like this team's kind of getting into complete form as we you know go to an important time of the year, really? Uh, I mean, I'm not sure. Really sure. We we just we got a good bond here, and I think we uh, connect very well. I think. I mean, there's going to be ups and downs in the road, and uh, I think if we just fight through those like we have been and not getting too, like, sulking too much and just come out like we did tonight, I think we're going to be perfectly fine. Last question on my end, um, you know, you scored 14 runs. How do you kind of, you know, try to keep that momentum going without losing any, you know, fire either tomorrow? Yeah, we already talked about it in the meeting just then. Uh, today's over. we got to come out. They're going to come out ready to play tomorrow, and they're – I mean, they're a solid team. They just didn't perform well tonight, and we know that they're going to be coming ready to play tomorrow, and we gotta we got to show up. It's going to be an early one, too, so it's going to throw off our timing a little bit, but we got to be ready. Billy, I haven't looked at it yet, but I believe this might be the first time you finished what you started. What's that feeling like, even though it is seven innings, you know? Yes, sir. Uh, I think it was first complete game so far. Um, you know, it's, it's always good. Uh, it's nice when it's uh, seven innings, we scored a bunch of runs. The offense continues to keep hitting for us, and that's all we can ask for as a pitcher. So even though it was seven, I'm still really happy able to finish it. What felt different? I know every guy's a starter, you know, still starting the game. But Friday, what felt different for you, maybe? Yeah, my, my first Friday start. Um, super excited about that. You know, got the honor to throw after Tanner on Saturdays last year, started after Nico this year, and you know, two great guys to watch. And now it's my turn to throw on Friday. So. 
you know, Coach Oz always says, got to get deep in the game, save some bullpen arms, and uh, just happy I was able to do that tonight. How important is that just as a pitcher, you know, tonight, just not even have to use any other pitchers to set you up for the weekend? Coach Oz, he, he loves it. He's, he's super happy about that. And, you know, a lot of times so far we've only used two on Friday, and now, you know, being able to use one keeps, you know, guys like Cross, who usually throws on Friday, he can you know, throw any other day this weekend now. So it just, just helps. Were you worried about having to wait around too long in that third inning at all? Uh, sometimes, you know, it's an uh, – not annoying, but the long long sits aren't the best. <laughs> but when you're scoring ten runs, you can't complain. So I wasn't wasn't worried. Uh, I knew made it extremely important and made a point to make it a quick inning after because you know if we go out and score ten and I go out there and walk two guys and give up two more runs, you know that just deflates the game, deflates the offense, and they're like, why can't we just get a zero? So I made sure that, that one I needed to put up a zero after you know lapsing in the second, giving up two. And you just explained that, but like, does that mean that you maybe take more risks, you know, to get out of there quicker? Or? No, just uh, extreme focus, like Coach Oz always says. And not that I don't every pitch, but that inning, I, I was like, need to get out of this quick, especially when they're all pitching is struggling and we just scored 10. We want to get our bats back in the batter's box as soon as possible, keep the keep the gas on them. Really, to that, as the game went on and you settled in, I mean, you know, what was really working for you, like, change as good as always, but, you know, Fastball way off that chain. Yes, sir. That, that felt good. The, uh, most of the off speed threw a good bit of sliders today, and they were working versus the righties. Uh, having trouble throwing the lefties at the moment, but uh, yeah, good mix of everything is really working today. So uh, super happy about that. You're hitting 92 for pretty much your whole outing today. Feel good about that? Yeah, super excited about that. Uh, you know, just was up to that at one point last year, and then had a little shoulder problem, kind of nagged through the year, and I was down for most of the year, and now. Worked a lot with Coach Keller on mechanics and strengthening and long toss. And so to see that finally come out in a game, I'm really happy for that. Yeah, and just, just, you know, rewinding time when you first signed here, um, did you know that they would kind of unleash all your potential? Or was it a thing where it's like, hey, I can put my potential on this team? Just kind of talk about that. Fr Friday to start today, stuff like that. Yeah, well, I knew coming to pitch for Coach Oz, I mean, he can unlock about everyone's m maximum potential. He's the best pitching coach in the country. So uh, I was super excited when he offered me to come here. And I knew that they would definitely uh, level me, to get to the max I could get to, and really un unlock all my abilities, like you said. And uh, to say if I expected to be the Friday guy, the moment the when I signed here, probably not, because Tanner Hall was on the team. And then Nico is you know, an incredible pitcher. And so now that it's my turn, I'm super excited about that. But uh, I'd say off the bat, no, I wasn't expecting that. Do you like everything's unlocked yet, or still ways to go? I don't think I'm final yet. Still, still working on stuff. Still tweaking in bullpens with Coach Keller. We're tweaking something about every week, making sure you know, uh, just keep being consistent and keep having my pitches move the way I want them to. So I, I still think it can always get better. I feel like just kind of on a you know basic beginner's standpoint that you know the catchers are starting to come along a little bit just by you know looking at the box scores. But just from a pitcher's perspective, when you're working with them every day. Does it feel like just from the start of the season that they've those two have just really come along? Oh yeah, I mean we love throwing uh, our catchers. Um, they work really hard in the bullpen every day. I see them out there just working on framing the low strike. I think Tucker probably stole about five or six for me that were, you know, borderline that he was getting. And so yeah, I mean they've been they've been great all year. I'm, I don't think uh, they've come along. I think they've been great all year. And uh, especially with the bats, I mean Lawson hit a home run last weekend. Tucker's hitting really well. You know, we're, we're super excited about about all, everything the catchers are doing at the moment. Thanks, Thanks, Billy. Thank you, Billy. Thanks. Cool. Thank you, guys.